Yes, I'm aware. I need to get a haircut. I know. I'm gonna get one soon. I'm not cutting the sides, cutting the top. I want to grow out the hair. But yeah. Hey, everybody. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whatever time of day it is for you. My name is Adrian. This is Uno. He's dead inside. And welcome back to another story time video. Do 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 do. Ooh, it's story, story time. time. Now, today's story time is how I got this little fucker. Hi. It was a complete accident. I swear to God, I don't abuse my dog. I love him to death. Just hear out the story and you'll understand how this was accidental. Hey, you. Yes, you. I'm talking to you. You may be wondering who this is. I'm Roan. That's short for Tyrone. Why haven't you subscribed yet? Hmm? Like, and like the video too while you're at it. Hell, comment too. Share the video while you're at it. Hell, fucking get it everywhere. Subscribe now or I'll come for you. You don't want me to come for you. So this happened about two years ago, right? It was near the end of COVID. It, well, not the end of COVID. It was near the end of 2022. Everybody was going out with masks and shit, and my mom wanted to go out with a few of her friends. Now, I was 16 at the time, so I thought I was going to be left home alone, you know, to fend for myself and my brother, you know, be the man of the house. But these dreams were quickly crushed. Because, um, you know, when you're at 16, you're like, yeah, I'm an adult. I'm like right there, bro. I can take on all this responsibility. But all those dreams were quickly crushed when my mom told me that I was going to be babysat by a cousin of mine that I hadn't seen in a fat minute. But it was all right because I actually got pretty along with this cousin. You know, I thought she was pretty chill. Um, you know, my mom was going to be headed out for like the entire day and night. Like it was like early in the afternoon, like at 2 p.m. or some shit. But I was kind of tripped out as to why I couldn't be left home alone with my brother. But, you know, my mom knows me. So I, I guess that makes sense. Anyway, so my mom gets ready. She leaves. My cousin arrives. And when my cousin arrives, she comes in with this like... Publix like plastic case of like muffins and I figured that she just brought those because she wanted to you know Get something nice for me and my brother because she knew we were fat asses So I figured that's what they were for but I, I, didn't, I wasn't gonna touch them yet I said hi to my cousin. I was like, all right, I'm gonna go play video games She was like, I right, I'm gonna be in the living room like watch Netflix or something So the time passes by it's like in the afternoon and I'm there playing GTA with my friends I decide that I wanted to go get one of these muffins now uno was in the room with me and as you guys can tell uno loves to be in the room with me my bed is usually his favorite spot to be on so when i come back uno's obviously on my bed and these muffins they were blueberry muffins right? and everybody knows when you have a dog and they see you with food they are going to stare at you until you give them some of that food now normally i wouldn't give my dog muffins because i usually would get chocolate chip muffins but since th these were blueberry i thought you know what fuck it i'm gonna give this guy um a piece of the muffin so i'm eating the muffin and i and i take out a little piece for him to eat right and i don't think anything of it he eats it he seems to enjoy it right so i give him another little piece so much to the point where i actually ended up just sharing half of this with my dog now, as many of you can assume from the title of this video and the fact that there's brownies having to do with the story, it was a fucking edible. My cousin had bought some edibles from I don't know who the fuck and just brought it with her because she probably just didn't want to leave it in her car and didn't want to leave it at her house. And she probably thought that we weren't going to think anything of it, so she just left them there. So when my cousin went outside, she didn't send it to me when I got the muffin, so I figured that they were just normal. I didn't even think anything of it. I didn't even figure there were normal br brownies, oh my god. I didn't even figure they were normal muffins. I just didn't even think anything of it. I just took it with me. So about 30 minutes passed by, I'm not feeling anything, right? But I see Uno starting to act all crazy. And I actually recorded it. I have a video of this guy, so I'm gonna pop it up on screen real quick. <laughs> Oh my god. Uno, chill. He 
Yeah, Uno starts going crazy. He's acting like that for like 30 minutes straight. So pretty much an hour after we, I had given him the muffin. And after that time passes is when I start feeling a little bit dizzy. Now I have obviously, I had never been high before. I'd never smoked weed, I'd never done an edible. And to this day I haven't, besides this one instant where I had this edible by mistake. And so my friends pick up on this real quick and they're like, oh my God, you idiot, that was an edible. And I had never experienced what being high was until this very moment. And I always thought being high was gonna be something like being dizzy and like all funny and all that shit. In reality, everything just felt so much slower. You feel me? Like everything just felt like it had slowed down and I just felt like a bit numb to everything. My eye, it was kind of hard to keep my eyes open. So I didn't know how the fuck Uno got like energized. It looked like he had had a 12 pack of Red Bulls because of the how crazy this motherfucker was being. So about now two hours have passed by. I'm laying on my bed there like <laughs> And then my cousin walks into the room saying, Adrian, and I looked up like, huh? did you eat one of the brownies? Yeah. Oh my God. Did you give some to Uno? No. And yeah, basically she just got me water, told me to try to sleep it off. And that was my first experience being high. By the time that my mom got home, I was knocked the fuck out. Uno, I have no idea what happened to him. I think my cousin took him and just took care of him, but he's fine, nothing's happened to him. He doesn't have erectile dysfunction or anything. He's perfectly fine. But yeah, that's pretty much the story of how I accidentally got Uno high. But with all that being said, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. As I said, we're on the way to 1,000 subscribers. I know we're gonna hit it. So just, you know, join the army, join the, join the road to 1,000. So with all that, it's been Adrian and Uno Twizzles.